This conference will now be recorded. Okay, now let's see how to use a savable data page of type list. Means you have multiple rows of data. You can edit that data, you can add new records. And when you click on submit, all those updated data should be saved to database using savable data page. So for this, I'm taking a data page of type list and I want to update the data from a table called as customer data. So all the customer data will display for me in a table layout. I can edit his first name, last name, email ID or contact number. I can even add new rows of data. And of course, this is a savable data page. So I have to give the type as savable data page. And now I have to fetch multiple rows of data from the customer table. There are two ways to do this. One, activity OBJ browse or report definition. I prefer to go with the report and why not the OTB report, data table editor report. Why should we write a new report definition? No, let's use the OTB one. So the built-in report I'm using just to fetch me all the data and display on the screen. So this is how it will display, right? A table layout with multiple rows of data. Now, whatever code you have written so far is just to fetch the data and display like this. Okay, just to display data and display like this, we have written this table layout with a report definition. Now, what is the next part? If they have given you an option to edit the data and you edited the data and you added new records of data, upon clicking save, how do you insert the data into DB? So I have to write down an activity to insert the data into DB and I wrote an activity like this. It's in code pega list class, as you know, if the data page structure is list, your activity should lie in code pega list. Now, where is your data? It's present on this data page, right? So you can either say data page dot px results or primary dot px results. You can say because activity is getting called from here. So your primary page is data page. Now you're going to loop on it and you can do OBJ save. Do not do OBJ save here like this directly. You can never ever do an OBJ save on a data page. So what you have to do, iterate on the results, take a new page, copy this data into a temporary page like this and save it with a right now. So you cannot do a direct OBJ save here because I got an error when I was doing. The error says cannot save a page with an instance of class. It is read only. And then I found an article in the PDN saying that, you know, they don't allow you to do an OBJ save on the data pages. So that is the reason I have to end up this way doing like this. Now what next? Design your screens. So I took a section, took a table layout, gave my data page and I want the user to edit the screen, right? So I made it editable in line so that they can update the data or add new records of data. Section, keep it inside a flow action and take any flow. Okay, this is a screen flow. So I kept my flow action here and this time I'm using a smart shape to save the data page. I gave my data page name here and I'm using a smart shape to save my data. Now it's time to test your changes. This is some initial screen. We can ignore this. It's not mandatory. On the second screen, we have a requirement. So all my data is coming. How is it coming? Your report definition is displaying the data, right? Okay. So which means your D page got executed only till here. This part of the D page didn't execute yet. When will it execute? When you call this smart shape, that will execute means only upon submission of the screen, you will trigger this smart shape and that insert logic will execute. Now, I'm just going to change my data like this. Okay. And I would also like to add some new rows of data like this. Okay. Why don't we turn on the tracer to see how the things are going? Make sure you enable data pages in the tracer and submit. Only when you call that smart shape or save data page method in activity or you know in the flow action post processing, you call your savable data page. Only then the second half of the 
you know data page will get executed which inserts your data into db why don't we see the trace did everything go well oh no there's an error let me look into it this conference will now be recorded okay so i was able to figure out the error the error was c saveable data pages are generally you know used only to update the data we don't use them to insert a new record of data just in case if you're using of structured page okay if you're using a page structure and you're trying to insert the data you can try okay that way it will work to some extent because uh, there is a data page option here data transform option sorry in the savable data page you have a data transform option here so using this data transform you can all you know configure the entire new record of data you can keep it on this data page and then you can say database save here it will insert the data but when you're dealing with list you know because the main purpose of a savable data page is only to update the data we can't generally use it for inserting new records of data because i tried this you know inserting a new record of data using this one i got an error okay whereas if i'm trying to update the data there's no issue the reason is what they do is in savable data page they get you the data using report definition so they get the pz ins keys right now when they try to save the data here they save it they update it based on the pz ins key so if you ask them to insert a new record they don't do it so that is the reason i was getting an error okay now if you see i'm just trying to update it like this let me clear the tracer and i say continue okay no issue in the tracer now i go to the table and refresh it okay you can see the data got updated whereas if you try to insert a new record of data i swapped my screens okay i made this as a first screen and that as a second screen whereas if you try to insert a new record of data then this issue will come have you tracer on okay you can see it failed okay uh, if you look at the error they say you know that pz ins key or px ins name doesn't exist okay because they are trying to look for an existing record with that primary key and because there is no you know record with the primary key they are not able to insert the data but just in case if you are using of type page you can insert the data you know using a data transform you can configure the new record of data here and you can insert that's a bypass way but for list you can only update the data like this so this is how you can use a list structure to insert data into db using the savable data page okay now okay guys that's it